Let's get ready to rumble. I have to entertain myself. <laughs> it is Wednesday, <laughs> February the 10th. And this is what we covered today. So for review, I asked the class uh, to tell me the difference between um, specialization and division of labor. So from yesterday, uh, specialization is just putting an employee in um, a position where they can flourish. So this guy apparently is really good with his hands. He's very coordinated and he's very creative. And he knows how to cook. So this guy would be a great um, chef at a restaurant like Ichiban. And then division of labor is when you've got a lot of employees in one group working in an organization and then you take those people and you say, okay, I want you to do this, do you to do this, do you to do this, you to do this. So taking one big task and then giving everybody else a job to do. So the specialization is having a person in the right position based on their skills and then dividing your labor, just taking one group and then breaking it up into smaller pieces. For our new stuff, uh, we broke down organizing some more. So the organizing process by managers. We know that you start with a goal. <laughs> we know that already. So step one, what is your goal? Step two, take that goal, break it up. That's departmentalization. After you've broken it up, assign each person a task to do. So goal, departmentalization, tasks. So you get your task, then you tell them <laughs> what to do. So if you are in charge, if you're the visionary, you're the top level management goal, this is the vision, you've got your employees, you've assigned them what to do, now tell them so they're actually working. You tell them what to do, delegate authority. Make sure that they've got all the supplies that they need. Get them going, making sure that all the activities are getting completed. Tell them when it needs to be done, who they need to work with, how you're gonna evaluate them, and what went well and what didn't. All right, with authority. First, you've got chain of command. That's just the flow. So this person right here, this is just the flow of authority. So this could be Mr. Colvin, this could be um, Miss Williams, Mr. Maynard, Miss Dawson will be over here as well. And then under here, this would be your teachers. Unity of command. That just means that at any given time, at any, like, Today's Wednesday at 12 o'clock. I've got, I've got several bosses. <laughs> and sometimes those bosses will tell you what to do at the same time. So Mr. Colvin, maybe um, Miss Dawson. So they're both my boss <laughs> and they're both telling me what to do at the same time. There's gotta be a point in time, you know, if they're both asking me to do something at the same time, then I have to tell one of them no. And knowing which one to complete something for the first time is <laughs> a matter of, you know, who has the authority to fire you? <laughs> Always go with that one as a safe choice. But unity, under, uh, unity of command just states that you should not have two bosses telling you what to do at the same time, because that can be a, a little confusing. So at any one time, you should have only one boss that you're reporting to. And then the scholar principle. Um, that's just stating where your company needs to have a clear chain of command. So your new employees know who their boss is. Yeah. So just a bigger picture of unity command. You can see you got two bosses there. He is freaking out because he didn't know which one to listen to. And then your scholar principal, who in the world? I'm new, I'm new. All these little heads, they're new employees. Who's my boss? And that was it for today. Um, they did go into Canvas 
and work with their groups, with their organizational structure. So just make sure you guys go in here in Canvas and get this completed. You guys should know who your group members are. If you do not, I've got a list here. Email me and I'll tell you who your group members are. So I'm looking for an organizational chart, a structure. Functional, divisional, matrix, whichever one you want to create. And I can show you an example really quick. Uh, let's see. Brian's group went above and beyond. As you can tell, they created a whole presentation. <laughs> so title, of course, their company, company's name is Drip, what they do, how many employees they have, and then this is what I'm looking for. They said they've got a matrix structure and they've got a CEO. These two managers, they work side by side and the flow of authority goes up and then they've got employees under them and then they report to those managers and report to each other as well. So that's what I was looking for. And they just told me, you know, which group member did what. So you get your exit ticket, make sure this is completed today as well, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow.